Hi, this is Geshe Michael Roach, and we're continuing our little talks about, you know, what will happen if you learn to do, let's say, a morning quiet time with special techniques, ancient techniques, and then what will they do to your business life, what will they do to your family life, and first of all, we said, look, you can just get a lot more done, you know, you'll be ten times more productive than other people. And that's a strange thing, you know, I admit it. Uh, what we're telling you, what we're saying is, if you can pause for 10, 15 minutes every morning, which means you lose 15 minutes every morning, and then uh, because of the quiet time, because of the pause, you are much, much more productive, like double productivity, then that's the idea, okay? It's, we know, I know, uh, taking 10 minutes out of the day, taking 15 minutes out of the day, I know how it feels, you know, it feels like you're losing time, and it feels like some kind of investment, but I have to say, if you do it right, if, if you learn the right way to do it, then it's going to double your productivity, you know, you're going to be so grateful that you learned how to do this 10-15 minutes out of your day, because you're going to able to, to do twice as much as before with more calmness, okay? You're going to create more deadlines for yourself. You're going to create more business, which is busyness. And then you're going to, you're going to actually be more calm. It's weird. You're going to, because of your daily quiet time, uh, well-trained daily quiet time, uh, you're going to be more productive. And at the same time as you increase your workload, and increase your output, and increase your creativity, you're going to have a, also an increase in how calm you feel and how good you feel about your life, okay? Uh, so those are the two benefits that we talked about already. I think a benefit that people don't talk a lot about, and I got to thank our marketing director, uh, Anton Kratasiuk, for, for, you know, having a talk with me about it, is uh, something you don't notice which is that a daily quiet time, a daily meditation practice, increases your emotional connection to other people. It increases your empathy and your feeling of warmth for other people. So maybe that's the greatest benefit of a daily quiet time, a daily meditation practice, is that starting in the morning, and I like this picture, you know, I don't know this guy, I just picked this picture off of a internet service, but uh, he feels like he's having a connection uh, with the person in front of him. Maybe uh, I, I think he owns the company, maybe he's got, a, he's got a marketing director in front of him, and, but you can see uh, there's, there's more than business going on. There's some kind of emotional connection going on. And we all know you can be uh, very productive, uh, you can even be a calm person, peaceful person, but somehow you don't have connection with other people. You feel cold, you feel isolated. Other people, when they're around you, they don't feel that warmth of a warm person. And the exciting thing about this meditation practice that we'll be learning is that it can increase uh, your emotional connectivity to other people. It opens your heart and it makes your heart open in a good way and in a healthy way uh, to, the, to other people, thinking about other people. In this next picture, uh, I like to call this picture, it's called uh, seeing beyond what's going on right now, okay? Like you can see beyond what's going on right now. And what I mean by you can see beyond is that in business and even in your personal life, there's a very bad tendency that we all have, is that we look at other people, we look at employees, we look at suppliers, we look at investors, we look at customers, we look at our wife, our husband, our kids, and we want to know what can they do for me, you know? Like how will they function? How will they perform a function to get me what I want? And the plain word for this is called selfishness, you know. We look at other people as almost like machines 
or robots who can bring us what we want, can bring us what we need. It's a kind of a self-centered feeling about the purpose of other people in your life. Is the purpose of the people in your company, in your family, in your business, is it their only purpose to do things for you, to make you feel better, to bring you things, to make you money, uh, to bring you success? Is, is that what employees are all about? Is that what family members are all about? They are just suppliers of good feelings or, or, or material goods that you need. And if you can learn this morning quiet time with technique, then we, we change that attitude, we flip that attitude around, and it's, we see beyond what people can do for me right now. And we start to ask ourselves, what can I do for you? you know, how can I serve you? And that's the key to happiness, okay? Uh, it's good to have successful business. I love it. I have to say it's fun. And it's good to be calm. It's, it's good to do well under deadlines, under pressure. But it's amazing if you can feel this heart connection to other people. And quiet time, if it's, if it's well-educated, well-trained quiet time, it'll give you this quality of empathy to where you don't just work with other people and you don't just look at what you can get out of other people. You see beyond uh, the short-term uh, function or profit that you can make from other people and you start to go deeper into the real meaning of life, which is to serve each other, if we can serve each other. And this quiet time, structured, well-trained, uh, quiet time every morning, it has a powerful effect. Uh, in the next picture, you can see a child. Uh, I like to think he's quiet. He reminds me of my uh, grandson, Maitri, by the way. And I, I have a, I, I wanna, this, what this picture suggests to me is that he's a person who's really quiet, which means he's listening, okay? There's an old joke, you know, as long as you're talking, you can't listen, you know? And I like to think he's laid back on his bed and he's being quiet, and he's so quiet that he can feel how the people around him are feeling. And that's another amazing benefit of a well-trained, daily quiet time or daily meditation practice is because of the inner quiet you have, you're able to listen to, you're able to feel other people's feelings, you know, and then you can help them. Uh, you can make them feel better, happier. Because you can listen to other people's feelings, you can make those feelings happier. You can bring them more happiness. And isn't that the goal of a, of a real life? Isn't that the real meaning of life? Is to listen. Be so good at, at being quiet that you can feel other people's feelings. And then you can help them bring the feelings that they would like to have. I have another picture here. It's a lady uh, counting some money. And this is a problem I always had in my life. Uh, I, maybe you had the same problem. But any time I'm successful, or any time I'm making a lot of money, I feel guilty. It's weird, you know. Um, my, I don't try to make more money, but the purpose of my life is not to make more money. But if you know how to do quiet time, if you learn your inner self, you will make more money, okay? And then how do you feel about it, you know? I mean, do I have to feel guilty forever if I'm making money, you know? If I'm making more money than the people around me? Uh, do I have to feel bad? Is, is it I should feel bad or I feel I'm doing something wrong? Or I'm one of those cruel, selfish business people who's making money and ignoring the world. And, and I want to say, if you take your quiet daily time, you can bring great emotional connection into making profits. It's weird, okay? Like, Making money can be a very beautiful, fun, and helpful thing for everybody and bring you deep emotional connection with other people. So that's another thing that will develop out of the kind of uh, daily meditation we're talking about. You, 
you can make money, you can be successful, and your empathy or your emotional connection to other people just gets more and more. And of course, the natural result of that is that you are able to help other people more because you are more successful. Lastly, in this last picture here, uh, if you have a daily quiet time, yes, you can start to listen to other people's feelings more and you can make a deeper emotional connection with other people. But maybe more important, you can start to get an emotional connection with yourself, okay? You can get more sensitive to listening to what your heart needs or what your needs are. You know, what are my emotional needs right now? You know, what do I need other people to feel or what do I need from other people? What do I need from the network of, of people that I'm connected with in my family, in my office? You know, if, if you can't listen to your own feelings, if you can't check in on your own emotions, then it doesn't matter how kind you are, how nice you are, uh, you'll have an empty place in your life. So kind of the last person you really have to learn to listen to is yourself. And you have to learn to be kind to yourself. You have to learn to take care of yourself or you won't take care of other people. It's not possible. So the last great benefit, I would say, of, of a daily quiet time, well-trained, well-structured quiet time, is that you will finally make an emotional connection with yourself. Okay, those are some of the benefits of a, of a well-structured, well-trained, quiet, you can call it meditation, but I, I don't know. It seems a lot more than that to me. Okay, look forward to being with you and look forward to discovering together more things about this structured, well-educated quiet time. Thank you.